Scuffles and shouting erupted in Taiwan's legislature on Monday after opposition party lawmakers occupied parliament overnight. Members of the ruling Democratic Progressive Party broke past barricades of chairs and chains erected by over 20 members of the main opposition, the Kuomintang. The KMT lawmakers said they were protesting, quote, government tyranny and demanded the president withdraw the nomination of a close aide to a top-level government watchdog. The KMT traditionally favors closer ties with China, and it was soundly defeated in January's elections. The DPP now has a large majority in parliament. The opposition lawmakers said they were protesting DPP President Tsai Ing-wen, both for what they describe as her forcing bills through parliament, as well as nominating senior aide Chen Chu to head the control yuan. The yuan's job is to regulate the rest of the government, similar to the U.S. Government Accountability Office. Both the DPP and the presidential office condemned the parliament protest, saying the KMT was orchestrating a, quote, farce. After its disappointing finish in the January elections, the KMT is in the middle of a policy revamp to try and win back popular support, led by youthful new leader Johnny Chung. In a dramatic reversal of fortunes for the party earlier this month, defeated KMT presidential candidate Hong Guo-yu stepped down as mayor of Kaohsiung after losing a recall vote by a huge margin.